Uh, we own, right? This is uh, Brother Jackie, Brother Steve at WildernessMountainMinistry.org. It's good to be here. Uh, hope you really like this message. Uh, timely message during the trumpets. Feast of the Trumpets with a Jewish brother, BJ, uh, who uh, prayed over prayer cloths. And I want to show you this up close. They're real beautiful. And I want to read you some scriptures where Paul was in Asia. They're real beautiful. We have several of them. My wife picked up some pretty prayer cloths. Paul used handkerchiefs and aprons, didn't he, Brother Steve? Yes. And I want you to read him a scripture, because we believe that Jesus still is the healer today. We believe that he still can cast out evil spirits. Mm -hmm. We believe that he uh, also can heal you of any or all manner of sicknesses, sicknesses and diseases. So stay with us. This will be short. And we hope that you get your prayer cloth uh, after you hear this message. Uh, it's very anointed, very timely, prayed over. These prayer cloths were prayed over and anointed uh, for the first time that I know of in history by Gentile and Jew coming together for the Feast of Trumpets. And uh, God led me, like Apostle Paul, to uh, take these prayer cloths and pray over them and told me if I'd send them to the people, if the people was sick, had cancers, uh, diseases, or evil spirits, or or being oppressed or held captive at will, that God would set you free. Amen. Now this is an act of faith that you have to believe that he's the same today, yesterday, forever. Why would Apostle Paul even do this? Uh, one of the reasons he did this in Asia for two years is because he could not re reach all the people, he could not travel to, do, to reach all the people who were sick and who had uh, evil spirits that needed casting, casting out. And so that's the reason he did that, and he was under the New Testament. And so you'll find this in Acts chapter, uh, I believe it's Acts chapter 19, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> as I will read. Uh, Paul was in uh, Asia for two years. Acts chapter 19, verse 10 through 12, get your Bibles if you need to, and read along, or read later. Uh, Acts chapter uh, 19, verse 10 through 12, and this, <coughs> excuse me, and this continued by the space of two years, uh, so that all they which dwelt in Asia heard the word of the Lord Jesus, both Jews and Greeks. And God wrought special miracles by the hand of Paul, so that from his body were brought unto the sick handkerchiefs or aprons, and the diseases departed from them, and the evil spirits went out of them. Now, we believe today that if God gives us that faith, time is short, the door of grace is closing. Uh, God don't want us to be hindered in any kind of way. Uh, these are very, again, special anointed prayer clouds, just like Apostle Paul used in his ministry. This is also to set the captive free. Uh, Brother Steve, will you read where Jesus, what Jesus came for? Yes, it's in Luke 4, 18. He said, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and recovery of sight to the blind, and to set liberty those who are oppressed. Amen. And, uh, you know, Paul, it's amazing that John the Revelator today had uh, seen seven church ages. Uh, seven church age messengers that would come on the scene. Uh, I found that amazing that John the Revelator saw and uh, sent these this to Asia, these books of the 
the seven churches were sent to Asia yes. for a very special reason to the Gentiles. Yes. You know, and, that's, and how Paul was in Asia, yes. you know, preaching to the Greeks and to the Jews for two whole years. And uh, some believed, some didn't believe, so he departed. He disputed the word. Uh, some, some uh, many w went their own way what the Bible said here, but divers were hardened, and they believed not, but spoke evil of the way before the multitude. He departed from them. Paul left them. Yes. The Christ could not do nothing for them, because they didn't believe the gospel. So he separated the disciples, dis disputing daily in the school of the, what's that, Tyrannus? Looks like Tyrannus, I believe it is. And, and, and this continued by the space of two years. And Steve and I have a go of two years, of maybe a year and a half, before the cashless system to feed Israel, the remnant of Jacob. Um, this, this is where God says, I will bless, the, the, bless Israel, the remnant. And so we need to get this weed into Israel. We need to get this uh, distribution center, this wilderness place, let me call it, set up. Because... When the cashless system comes, uh, they will not be able to buy or sell from their own government. Not counting the three and a, one half year drought, yeah. the five woman drought that's coming. And not uh, counting also the war with Iran, where Israel is going to be cut off in the whole world, even America. And he calls us all to receive a mark, uh, even Israel. So. We saw in the news, and a news, uh, was, what, what was it in? The Israeli National News, a Rosh Shiva. What, what did we say there, Steve? That would Israel become the first country in the world to become a cashless society? Could you speak up a little bit so they, could, they can hear you? It was stated and questioned in the article whether Israel was going to be the first country to be a cashless society. And they were forming um, committees of dignitaries and police and uh, other administrations in the Israeli government to study the fact whether or not it is feasible to set up a cashless system in Israel. Wow. I saw this. I read it when you sent it to me. I thought it was very timely because I had been putting on Facebook, you know, and emails letting the people know mm -hmm. and on uh, Atlanta Live TV uh, W uh, LAC a few weeks ago W A T C sorry W A T C mm -hmm. okay sorry about that and it's Greenville South Carolina and it was a night uh, live nightline nightline on WGGS WGGS and Steve's good at the radio station because they set them up for me my wife Kim and so uh also, uh, Augusta, Georgia, uh, TV, I believe it's 36. Is it, was it 36, uh, Augusta? Watchman? No, Watchman's, TV 49. TV 49, I'm sorry. Uh, Watchman's Watchman Broadcast. Broadcasting. And my wife had done some preparation there, canning and uh, making bread, showing people how to make bread, how to prepare, how to, how to, prepare to live in, in hard times when things get really tough, a more self-sufficient lifestyle we're going back to. So I don't want to get too far into that, but, uh, you know, we do have those DVDs if you are, would like to hear God's vision for Israel and, uh, and feeding Jacob, and we'd be glad to hear from you. You can go to my website at uh, www.wildernessmountministry.org. And, if, and uh, you can write me at Brother Jackie at Wilderness Mountain Ministry .org. Simply Brother Jackie at Wilderness Mountain Ministry .org. And uh, there's a PayPal button on the home page. If you want to give an offering, you, you can, if you're led of the Lord to give an offering. Uh, we did get some offerings in, on these television stations. Uh, one man was literally crying when he stayed. Yes, Could he you was. explain that a little bit, please, to the well, audience? I know that uh, at the time that God was dealing with somebody's heart when we were on that program. And the man called and, and confessed that Tell him 
listening to the Railcast. Yeah. And and uh, and so we uh, he was crying, literally crying. He heard a good Jewish brother of ours who helped pray over these prayer files during the trumpets. He heard him singing "Come to Jerusalem" and stuff. He had made a special CD. You would love to hear that. Uh, he's he's very good, very talented. He has the shofar. He blows the shofar before we are interviewed, and he sings a song. And the last song is "Come to Jerusalem," uh, the Exodus. Uh, Everywhere you go, you'll bring Jer Jerusalem. And so, I wanted to get back just a moment uh, to close. Uh, Again, Paul, again, uh, so so many people are, we're under like a curse. Seems like everybody you see is sick with cancer, uh, just tumors. Uh, you can go on, uh, diabetes, uh, all kinds of uh, sicknesses and diseases are, seems to be taking over uh, our nation and this whole world. Many people are sick, so... We're living in the time of Daniel, where Daniel prayed, Steve. Yes. He prayed for the God's people. He prayed for the people's, uh, the sin and the iniquity of the people to be gone. Amen. He interceded on their behalf. And so, uh, we're living in that time frame where God is restoring. And God can restore you if you'll just believe what I'm telling you about these scriptures that I'm reading you in the book of Acts about Apostle Paul what he did in Asia, because he couldn't reach the people. He couldn't travel all around like that. So he sent out these special anointed prayer clouds. And, and by the blood, and praying, and, and, and sending the word through these prayer clouds, these anointed, they're very anointed prayer clouds. Because I had a healing ministry in uh, Georgia 15, 20 years ago. People were healed from cancer. They, they blew a hole in their chest with an army rifle, slapped through them, and he lived. Had a brother whose liver was totally destroyed, less than 5%. He's still alive 15, 20 years later from being prayed over. Uh, young women with cancerous tumors in their neck, their brain are gone. Even my brother here had something on his side of his face like That's a right. cancer. I prayed for that. Steve, what happened? It disappeared. It's gone. You could see, you could see the scar. Yeah. He was. It was not. He was not operated on. Amen. And it was. It was a mess when it stayed. It was terrible. Terrible. And so anyway, get your uh, prayer cloth today. Many people use this many things, but you would have to use the scriptures for for Jesus or God to confirm His own word. With Apostle Paul, because we believe that the New Testament is the true Word of God, the King James Version, and we believe that Paul wrote most of the books for us to know what we should do and, and give us instructions and righteousness and Amen. how to live a holy life and how to get free and how to get healed. Amen. And so God is granting me that. Uh, I used to pray my right hand like William Branham and others and lay my hand on the sick and they recover and God healed some immediately. Instantly, and some recovered later. And so, you get this, and I, I guarantee you, if you have the faith to believe it, you it'll be like touching Alicia's bones mm -hmm. and coming to life. Uh, my sister's foot was totally healed Amen. immediately, and she took off running, put up curtains uh, all night long, and standing in a chair. So, a guy did amazing things in our ministry years ago in Georgia. And I'd like for you to get this, just, again, go to wildernessmountainministry.org, see our website. We will be uploading and updating on some of these TV stations. We're going to be trying to go on major TV stations, Pat Robertson, possibly TBN, and many more stations in the future. So stay tuned and uh, make sure that you get this. You may have a, a friend, a loved one, a, a child who is sick. Or, and they don't know what's wrong with them, or they do know what's wrong with them, and there's no hope. So, but prayer is the key. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you agree, Brother Steve? Yeah. Prayer is the key because it covers a multitude of sin. Yes. Love covers a multitude of sin. Amen. And so, get your uh, these. We send them out. These 
these are sent out. They're, they're, you cannot purchase this. The, the, the devil flees from the blood of Jesus Christ. So we pleaded the blood on these prayer cloths of Jesus Christ, just like Apostle Paul did. And he prayed with that anointed word through the blood that the devils knew that we were healed by the stripes of who? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, by his stripes we were healed. So we're going to go, and we want to say God bless you. And uh, my phone number is 843-599-9881. And Brother Steve's is... 715-567-0808. Uh, Again, 715-567-0808. For more info, give us a call. And God bless you. Until next time, Shalom.